Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com and in this video I want to do a send in blue review for you guys. Basically, I'm just going to kind of take you through, show you what this product is in case maybe you're considering to uh, get started with it or even to upgrade. Um, so here I am. I went ahead and just set up a test account so I can show you guys how all this works. But if you want to check it out, there'll be links below this video uh, that can take you there where you can even sign up for a free trial that will give you 300 emails a day for lifetime. So if you do have a small email list, you can use this for free just to send them out if maybe you have a small group or something. Uh, but you can upgrade and get uh, many, many more emails to send out or even create custom campaigns. And if you notice here, you can also do SMS messages and buy credits for that as well. So if that's something you're into, you can do that. All right, so here we are inside of the dashboard and you got a lot of options here. Don't be overwhelmed by it. Basically, you're gonna go through a setup process and once you go through the setup process, that's really all you have to do. Um, once you get this thing up and running, it kind of runs up on its own. You can set it up for automations to automatically send out emails uh, when certain things trigger it. Uh, or you can just go in and create an email campaign itself and just get started right away and just sending emails to certain lists that you import or lists that you build by using the forms or the landing pages that comes in uh, Send in Blue. So once you get started with this, it's going to go through and ask you to fill out some information about you, your address, and all that. And when you do that, you can import your contacts. So when you import your contacts, you can import them from any other service that you use. You can copy and paste them, or you can import them using a CSV file, which is what I've done from using GetResponse, which I also use, as well as ConvertKit. Now you can see when I imported my first list, I had 92 of them here. And I also done a test send. Um, all, the, all these stats can be found here on your dashboard, which is really nice. And once, let me go ahead and just um, move this. But every time you log in after you send emails, you're going to see all of your stats here. You're going to see how many um, emails have been opened, how many of them where links have been clicked in the emails, and then if you have any that have been blacklisted, some emails. Uh, down here, you're going to see all your draft campaigns or ones that you sent where you can also edit and preview them. So what I want to do is come over here on the left-hand side, and if we go down here to email, this is where you're going to set up your email campaigns and you can see here you're going to have a list of all the emails that you've sent out all the campaigns you've created how many you sent how many's in draft scheduled so if you want to schedule emails out before you ever have them sent you can do that ones that are suspended running or archived so to create a new email campaign all you do is click on uh, create an email campaign and then here you can see you have two options regular and a b test a b test is really neat because if you want to split test say your email uh, subjects uh, to see which one converts better, which one gets the most opens, or if you want to uh, split test maybe the content you have in the body of your emails, you can do that here and it'll show you the ones that perform the best. And so all you do is you give it a name, you're going to enter a subject line and you can add personalization. So if you, when you have people opt into your email list or if your list already has say their first name or their first name and last name, you can click on add personalization and you could do something like first name and then it says which value should be used if the attribute is empty. You could do something like uh, say friend, whoops, we done last name, we'll do first name. And so what's going to happen here, the subject of your line is going to have their first name, but if their first name, if they don't have a first name when they opted in, if they didn't give you one, it'll say friend instead. So you could do something and say like, uh, hey, and then whatever their first name is or friend, did you check this out? And then for the preview text, this is really important. A lot of people don't use this. A lot of autoresponder services don't offer this. But a preview text is what they will see before they click on it and open it up. Now normally what a preview text does is it takes like the first sentence or maybe even two from your email and that's what it shows. And this may not be very enticing or if they read it they may say oh okay whatever and not even click on it. So when you preview this text here this is what they're going to see in their inbox before they click on it. So you can make something very engaging, something that maybe you know is really going to get them to click on it and it says here about 35 characters and so you can do that and you can also add personalization there as well 
You can choose a from email and a from name. You can set up different ones here. So maybe you have, say, different businesses, different websites, or uh, just different people you want to add on here to show who is sending from. You can do that. Down here is advanced options where you can customize the reply to address, the to field. You can activate Google Analytics, um, add a default header, footer, add tags, attachments, embed images in the email. Uh, there's just all kinds of stuff you can do with this. And then once you get that done, you're gonna click on next step. We better give this a name first. We'll do say test two. Then you're gonna have an option to create your email. You have a variety of ways of doing this. You can use the drop and drag editor, their classic editor, or just a plain rich text editor to create simple emails. Or if you have HTML emails created from code, you can just paste that code in here and use that. Now you can also view the recent messages that you've sent. If you have any of your own templates, uh, maybe right here from the template gallery, you go in here and you choose one of, the, one of the ones they have. You can see here that they have one through 12 of 65 currently in here. And you can just click one of these and you can edit it if you want to, change the text, change the, the buttons, the layout. You can change anything you want to on these. And then you can save them as your own and have them saved under my templates. Now the other thing you can do is import a template. So if you have a template maybe that somebody else gave you or shared with you, you can come over here and click this and you can add that link in here, import, and it'll import that as well. So we'll go back to design tools and just click on the drop and drag editor. And it's going to open up the editing for us so where we can come in here and we can change anything we want you can see there's the logo uh, if we want to change a logo you can just click on it and right here you can search for an image if you have some uploaded you can add an image to change out your logo you have options where you can drop and drag you can duplicate edit or delete it and this is the same way it is with any of these different sections within your email so this here is just set up for you as an example but you can come in here and change any of this and not only that, but you can come over here and you can drop and drag any of these options into your email. So let's say right under the image you want to have maybe a button. You could take this button and you could drag it and drop it down here. And then over here you can click on the button, you can change the text, you can personalize it, you can add a link, change the font, the color, the height, radius, pretty much anything and everything you want to do. So there's a lot of options in here. Once you get in and set up your own account, you're going to find that you know this may be a little bit overwhelming but at the same time once you get this set up one time and you create a base uh, default template for your emails you can reuse the same one over and over and just change the content within the email and it's going to save you a lot of time and you can probably send out emails within just a matter of a few minutes but once all this is done and you're ready to do uh, to go you can either send a test email to see how it looks uh, you can save it and quit or you can reset the email design, choose another uh, template or quit without saving. So you have all these options. And uh, what we're gonna do is go ahead and click save and quit. And then once that's done, it's gonna give us a preview and you can see the difference of what it looks like on the computer, what it looks like on mobile. It is very mobile friendly. You can see here who it's gonna say it's from and then the subject line, what the email looks like. And then you can also send a test email message to yourself if you want to. That way you can see what it looks like before it actually gets sent to everyone on your list. And then when you're done, you just want to click on next step. Um, you can select which contact list you have. So maybe you've cr you created multiple uh, lists of emails of your customers or maybe people who just opted in and hasn't bought yet or just people who reads newsletters. You're just going to select whichever one you want to use and then choose next. And then I'm not going to send this because obviously this is this is just kind of a an, an example for you guys. But once you do this, you can go ahead and you can send a test again. You can save and quit, or you can go ahead and you can schedule it. And that's all there is to it. Now, what I do want to do is just go over a few more of these settings with you. I'm not going to go through everything. This video is already nine minutes long. But if we go back, you're going to see here where you do have templates. And so right here, you can create your own template for order confirmations, registrations, for automations. Uh, down here is going to be all your statistics. You can choose um, date ranges to show your statistics from, how many got sent, how many got clicked, how many opened, your email campaigns, your SMS campaigns. Everything is here for you to view so you know exactly how well your emails are performing. Under settings, 
There's a lot of things you can do here. I recommend under default settings, you go in here and you do adjust this to however you want it. That way you don't have to change it with every email you send. Whatever you set by default is going to be the standard for every time. You can set up a test list to send your emails to uh, to test them out before they go out live to groups. You can uh, create your own subscribe pages, integrate Google Analytics, uh, set up web hooks. You can also create as many senders as you need and sign them with your domain. So if you want to use your own domains to do this, you can. You can get a dedicated IP and you can create and edit conversions to measure the revenue generated by your email campaigns. So whether you're wanting to use send in blue just as a newsletter you can do that or if you really want to dive deep into newsletters and uh, really promote and market and, and 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 set up these automations that follow people depending on what they do you can do all that within send in blue now if we go down here you can see here this plan is free with 300 emails remaining for today which means uh, you can send up to 300 emails uh, right here you can see the free plan has no expiration but there is a daily sending limit of 300 emails so you can actually send quite a lot of emails throughout the month um, but up to 300 per day now you can upgrade with that uh, it shows you down here the options for the upgrading the plan for templates add-ons because you can also create your own landing pages using send in blue if you upgrade so whenever you want someone to opt in you can have these really nice landing pages with your own branding for them to opt into if you don't have your own website or another way for them to opt in otherwise you can come over here and click click on get a plan and there's different options you can choose the light the premium or enterprise so if you want to customize your own you also have the choice from monthly to annual where you can save an extra 10 percent and if you choose one of these you also want to make sure you adjust this slider because that's going to affect what your monthly is going to be so if you think you're going to send 10,000 emails uh, a month just leave us at 10,000 if you're going to if you think you're going to send a lot more you can move it over to 100,000 and for premium it goes all the way up to a million emails so that's the pricing for it there's other options up here as well for automation where you can set up using automations based upon what the customers do whether they open your email whether they subscribe whether they place an order it can trigger other events to happen other emails uh, to get sent out or them to be added to different lists removed from different lists there's just all kinds of things you can do your automation goes over some of your SMTP settings the username the password and how you can use that you also have contacts where you can come in here and you can view your all your contacts you've added to your list now over here you're going to see where you can add or edit your list from here we can go to list you can see here this was the default example that I set up it has 92 if I want to add a new list I can simply click this I can rename it we'll just call it test 2 we'll say create an empty list and then from here what we can do is come up here and add a contact manually or we can import contacts so if you have an upload file or you can copy and paste it uh, to create and add all those users with, within that list and then you can select that list individually when you send out an email uh, so it's only going to a certain group of people so if we go back to contacts again you're going to see there's also a place here for forms and you can create a new subscription form so if you want to opt in form you can come here you can give it a name you can design it and then it goes through the settings of which list they'll be added to customizing it messaging it share it and how you can use it add it to your own site or you can just get a link and just share your link to but that's all there is to send in blue if you're not wanting to get into all the technical stuff uh, this can be super easy and super fast but once again those options are available if you want to get into the automations and a lot more of the advanced stuff with email marketing those are there for you too so once again I'll put the links below this video so where you can go to the official website and you can go there and you can sign up for the free trial where you can get 300 emails sent a day and you can test it out for yourself see how it works and then if you like it you can always upgrade from there just depending on whatever your needs are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Send in Blue review. If you did, please go below this video and like it. Subscribe to my channel. If you have questions, leave them below, and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.